Hello Watch fans, this is Anders here on Watch On Channel. So today the full review of the Karlskrona Hemli Watch. Karlskrona, they sent me in this watch for review, I get to keep the watch, so full disclosure. So I did do an unboxing first impressions of this watch. You can find that video by clicking the link up in the right hand corner or down in the description. Also down in the description you'll find the link to Karlskrona watches. It comes in this nice letter box here with the Trifork, the Karlskrona watches. Logo, really nice. Packaging actually very simple, but very useful because you can actually use this box here as a travel case. On the one side you find the additional strap. It comes with two straps. This nice quality kind of almost olive green military style NATO strap with the logo Karlskrona hardware. Really nice quality. Also the logo here you see. And then on the other side you find the warranty card, also here the website, so it's karlskronawatch.com. And of course we find the watch. So before we get into the full review and all of the details about this Karlskrona Hemli watch, let's just talk very shortly about this brand. It is called Karlskrona and Karlskrona is a Swedish naval base town. But it is actually an American brand, it's run by two brothers who has Scandinavian Swedish heritage, Swedish blood running in their veins, so they're very much inspired by Sweden and Scandinavia, and that is why they call this watch Hemli. In Swedish, in Scandinavian, Hemli means secret or something not disclosed, and that is of course because it is a tactical military dive watch, and because it is this sterile dial. You can see here, very, very subtle, you can see the Trifork logo of Karlskrona watch is just below the 12 o'clock triangle here. So Karlskrona is actually very near Copenhagen where the watch on headquarters are. So it's a very Scandinavian style watch and very close to where I actually live and broadcast these videos. So what we get here is of course an automatic dive watch. You see a very sterile dial as we talked about, printed on our markings, filled with Superluminova, very wide hands. Also filled with loom, we'll have a loom shot just a little bit later in this video. Very nice kind of contrast towards the black dial. It's very readable, very, very easy to read the time on this watch. It is powered by the Salita SW200, automatic 28,800 abrasions power, movement with 38 hours of power reserve, and they do regulate these movements before sending out the watches. The watch is priced at 599 US dollars. That's actually really nice because when I did the unboxing video, it was priced at 749 US dollars. So actually now you can get it even cheaper. So 599 for this watch, go to the website. You can find the link down below. So some measurements of this watch before we get into all the details and the full review of this watch. So some measurements of this watch before we get into all the details and talk about which watch this watch is inspired from. It is 42.5 millimeters from side to side. It is 12.5 millimeters thick. You have a 20 millimeter lock width, and then you have 48.9 millimeters lock tip to lock tip. You see with these straps, of course, no male end links. Drilled lock holes, it's made in 316L stainless steel, which is bead blasted, so you get this really nice finish. Also notice this detail with the crown completely screwed in. You get the right look and the right placement of the trifork here. 120 click unidirectional bezel. Very easy to grip because of the coin etching here. Really nice action, but you do get some back play you see here. It doesn't get out of the click, so it's very secure, but it is a little bit wobbly as you see. Nice sound as well. 120 clicks. So you can measure down to 20 minutes here of dive time, and then you get the numbers. Of course, you can use this. This is, of course, 45, 50, 55, and 60, and so on. This is 30, 25, 35, and so on. So turning the watch over, we see the case back, really nice case back here. You get all the information with the cool Trifork logo, stainless steel, Hemli limited edition, automatic 300 meters of water resistance, sapphire crystal. So let's have a look at the loom. You see really, really great loom. I'm very, very happy with the overall loom quality of this watch. It is Swiss Superluminova, so of course a real tactical dive watch. It needs great loom and you get great loom. And as I said before, they do regulate these movements. So you see we get some pretty nice accuracy between 9 and 11 seconds plus per day. On average 10 seconds plus per day, that's perfectly fine for this Celita SW200 movement. And something I really like is these very kind of of abrupt locks here of end of the case, very 
straight, so it's very easy to fit other straps to this watch. I do wear this watch under sailcloth strap, easy removable spring bars, but of course we will also show you some other strap options before concluding this review. So let's talk about the inspiration for this watch, because the inspiration is the Benros Type 1 watch, which was released in 1972. So it is a 50 year anniversary to that watch, this very famous military dive watch from Benros watches. And of course, this is very much inspired. You do get some subtle differences, of course. So for example, you do get the logo at 12 o'clock and compared to the Benros, you don't get the applied hour markings, you get these printed on loom hour markings. And I really like the fact that they did this. I think compared to, for example, my Tudor Black Bay 58, where you have these gilded applied hour markings looking very classy on this watch, which is much of a dress style dive watch if something like that exists. This looks much more simple, much more utilitarian. And I think that's the right choice to have on this watch. If you don't like Omar's watches, this is definitely not for you. I think it's perfectly fine for a company like Karls Krona watches to be inspired to pay homage to a watch from a smaller brand, which is pretty unknown 50 years after the watch was released. Also a brand like Marathon watches, they are of course also inspired by Benros watches because what is very special with this case is the right side here where you actually extend the case to actually become a crown guard. So you have the crown nice tucked in here in the case it almost kind of looked like like a ufo so my favorite of the two straps is definitely the black sailcloth strap i think it looks great it feels great and i think it really fits this watch with the black bezel the black dial and then this black tough sailcloth strap here wears really nicely you see you can easily pull it off on my 17 and a half centimeter wrist circumference it's definitely not a small watch it is of course a bigger dive watch but it's not too big, it is exactly what it's supposed to be in the size and how it wears. It wears very true to its size, in my opinion. And of course, let's have a look at the NATO strap on this watch. So the NATO strap, as I said at the beginning of the video, is high quality, really, really nice NATO strap you get here. This is definitely the NATO strap you would pay maybe 60, 70, or 80 US dollars for, because the quality is just really, really good. I think it wears a little too big on my wrist with the NATO strap, so I recently purchased this rubber strap here. This is 22 millimeters, so it won't fit the watch, but you can also buy it in 20 millimeters from CNS watch bands. I'm not affiliated with that company in any way. They just sell these pretty nice quality cheap straps. And I think an option like this with the green would look really, really cool on this watch as well. I say all of this just to say that this watch is a strap monster. So you can definitely fit a lot of cool straps to this watch. So let's conclude the review. First of all, I think overall the quality for 599 is really, really good. You get a nice regulated movement, you get nice loom, nice contrast with the hands to the dial, very easy to read, very simple design, very utilitarian, very military, very simple. I really like the fact. I really like the finish of the case, the drill lock holes looks great, the case back is nice, really nice crown action. I'm a little bit disappointing with the bezel action, not that it's bad, it's really sturdy and secure, but you do get the back play, which is a bit of a disappointment for me. And of course, I would also have preferred some better AR treatment to the Sapphire Crystal. It is very reflective. And I think that is not a top good thing when you have this kind of military dive style tool watch that you don't have the best AR treatment, so they should definitely have had done something more with the AR treatment. That's a kind of a letdown with this watch. For some people, it will, of course, be too much of an homage. And for some people, it will, of course, be too much of a simple watch because you don't really have anything on the dial. For me, it's a big plus. I think it's really cool to have this very anonymous tactical style military dive watch. So all in all, a fair watch at a fair price and a cool micro brand with some really cool people behind them. And of course, with the Scandinavian history and heritage, it's kind of a plus for me being a Scandinavian person. So I hope you enjoyed the review of the Karlskrona Hemli watch, the limited edition here. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and don't forget to share this video on the forums on Facebook and places like that. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.